Hey kid, check it out. New quest. Well, old quest. Uh, new, new old quest. No old quest. quest. While Guthix sleeps is it's an oldie but a goodie. Finally making an appearance in old school RuneScape. I was gonna make a full guide for this quest, but on the account I spent the time prepping for this, this was the recording I got. Thank you OBS for capturing my absolute peak gameplay, but I did manage to capture the final two boss fights, which are honestly, let's be real, what most people are gonna care about. Let's cover both of those in separate, quick and simple videos. First off is this guy right here, uh, Sir Sirach Ma Magus. Apparently he was in Defender of Iraq. I sure as hell do not remember that quest. Anyway, so this is a magic fight. <laughs> Yeah, no one likes it, me included. Magic is for uh, PKers or dying to the Whisperer. It's gross, but you gotta use it. So bring your best magic gear for this fight, the best equipment you have, to deal as much damage as possible. The only caveat to this is you need to bring a non-charged magic weapon. That's right, no trying it of the swamp ass, no uh, tummy kin shadow, no ham joints. Dust off that lava battle staff or smoke staff, you're gonna need that one. Aside from that, your inventory should look something like this. First off, you need to be in the standard spellbook, since you will be casting the strongest elemental spell you have. I watched a long ass video on this before I tried and the guy said most of you are going to use fire surge and you know I looked and saw what level do I need to do fire surge and I was like oh okay 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 I see what's going on here. I'm poor and I'm not you know max level. I'm what you would call the average player. So I get to use Air Surge. Pretty cool. I've never used a Wrath Rune before in this game, to be honest. Anyway, you need runes for your strongest elemental magic spell, along with runes for each of the other types of elemental spells, meaning you need to be able to cast multiple air, earth, fire, and water spells. There's a certain mechanic for it, so just bring them. You'll also need runes for telekinetic grab, high alchemy, weaken or enfeeble, and snare or entangle, meaning by the end of this, you're going to need all of these spells covered with runes or your staff, so prepare accordingly. Outside of that, it's the basic stuff. Some prayer, a restore pot, some food, a magic boosting potion if you want one, an emergency teleport, adamant dragon mask, nothing crazy. All right, that's equipment and inventory. Let's get to the fight. Surak has 450 HP, quite the beefy boy. He constantly is protect from melee and ranged active, so if you just ignored everything I said, I mean, good fucking The fight starts off pretty basic. Use protect from magic and mystic might for all the poor chads out there like me. Then just slap his ass with some twos and threes. Hell yeah, brother. After about 10 seconds, Sirach will utilize one of his three special attacks, which are his elemental surge spell, warrior summon, or lit explosive. In my experience, I got the surge, warrior, then explosive in that order every single time, so let's cover them that way. For the surge spell, Sirach is going to hurl this really, really slow move moving surge spell at you, which will be a certain color. Red is fire, green is range, blue is magic, and white is air. To avoid taking about a, I don't know, 30 damage bonk, you have to cast a spell of the opposite element on the surge ball coming, coming at, at your, your face, face before it gets to you. It's really simple at first, don't overthink it. As the fight progresses and he does this, there will be multiple surges coming, coming at, your, at face your face at once, which can get hectic, but you can run away from him to make the travel distance longer. In general, I would try to max range this guy the entire fight to help with this and the next mechanic which is this guy well 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 look who we have here it's the bitch, bitch of, the, of month. the month during this special attack the old fuck will summon either an agile warrior or a strong warrior both of them will move towards you slowly just like the surge spell what you need to do is cast either enfeeble or weaken on it if it's the strong warrior or cast bind or entangle if it's the agile warrior if you don't do it in time they'll latch onto you like a small furry animal and get kamikaze by the geriatric dickhead in the background there a cool 30 to 40 hp lighter afterwards if you do cast it in time they still come to you but you curb stomp that motherfucker in the face and then you can quickly move out of the three by three cuck zone here. Pretty straightforward yet again. After those two mechanics, you just know this guy's like, holy fucking shit, what can I do? So he decides to get really desperate here and uses his last trick up his raggedy ass wizard sleeve, the lit explosive. This guy is so desperate, he will throw a literal bomb on the ground. If it goes off, you'll get kaboomed Looney Tunes style, and it does a lot of damage. To beat this mechanic, all you have to do is telegrab that explosive off the ground, then high alk it as soon as possible. And that's really it, man. At this point, fucking Melonhead here is definitely feeling the heat. He knows that the Dagenhide drip wasn't enough for today. Just react to these mechanics in whatever order you get. Simple enough. Make sure you equip that adamant dragon mask you got from a clue about a few weeks ago at the end for extra DPS. Nicely done, my friend. Nothing hurts anymore after doing Desert Treasure 2. If you were able to do this too, congrats, friend. I am proud of you. If this video helped, toggle on that thumbs up button and subscribe before I hit you with a surge spell in real life. And make sure to comment, sleep tight, Guthix. All right, that's it. Bye.